All right, time to get this vibrato thing happening. Oh, this is a very exciting phase. This is the point when you start adding maturity to your sound and style um, in a whole new, on a whole new level. Um, so really excited to share these tips with you. This will be the very first thing I would recommend, which is a little trick I got from a book. Um, thank you very much to the authors of Viva Vibrato. It's called The Lefty Waves. What you're going to do is take your left hand. This is my left hand. Um, and you're actually going to do, um, you're going to wave which I realize seems very odd, doesn't seem like it would actually get you vibrato, but then what you're going to do is then turn that around and you're going to wave at yourself with your left hand. Okay, now you're starting to see where I'm going with this perhaps. If you are a cello or a bass, you're now going to raise your elbow, keep going, but bring that elbow up and you're going to start seeing, oh look, this is starting to look like something that might have something to do with vibrato. If you're a violin or a viola, you're going to go from here, waving at yourself, and then just rotate around and sort of wave slightly further over that way. All right. So now you can see this is getting closer. If you can give yourself a little jiggle in the wrist, that is fine too. All right. But you're basically coming from the arm and a little jiggle uh, responsively in the wrist. And that, believe it or not, is one of the first exercises to developing vibrato. So go for it and wave. <laughs>